The all-new track-only variant for the Gordon Murray T50 will be revealed in just a few minutes, and I am extremely excited for this thing, so we are going to be reacting to the revealing of the new Gordon Murray T50S, and also giving you all my thoughts on the stylistic features of it. Let's get into it. <laughs> And if you haven't already, please subscribe down below to help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers in 2021. It would really help my channel out a lot, and we do have a ton of car content that is coming up, including supercar vlogs. So if you're a car fan like me, you're going to like this channel. All right, the track-only variant of the Gordon Murray T50 will reveal in just under 10 minutes. I am super excited for this. All right, the Gordon Murray T50S will reveal in just 12 seconds. It is really, really close. Three, two, one and it is starting. The design of this thing, I know it's going to be wicked, and this guy is just really, really good at designing the cars. He designed actually the T50, which is based off of the McLaren F1, and there is the standard T50. Are they going to reveal the T50s? Come on. I can see him sketching it right there. You can barely see it in the corner right there, so we kind of have an idea of what it's going to look like. It will officially be called the T50s Nicky Lauda. T50S Nikolota. That is the official name. Oh, it's so close to being revealed. It's happening. Right there. Oh! Good gosh. That looks really, really cool. Oh my gosh. This thing produces a ton of downforce. That looks insane. Look at the rear. It looks so much different from the old T50. Wow. Look how giant that front that's splitter is. LMP that's huge. That's one of the reasons why it produces that much of downforce. That literally looks like airplane wings. Oh my gosh. This machine is absolute insanity. Oh my goodness. This thing is so, so insane looking. And that's how it sounds. 12,100 RPM V12. There are so many cuts and lines on this car, it just makes this car look so crazy. The looks and performance and driving experience will be insane. That V12 screams. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on the stylistic features of it. All right, so first we're going to start off in the front. Now, first of all, you can see the biggest thing is are these two giant NACA ducts in the front. They are just massive, and it helps for cooling for the brakes. And then you have this ginormous front splitter. Look at how far that extends out from the front bumper. And then you have these two side canars right above the splitter. It has a giant roof scoop that leads to the engine bay. And then that leads to the shark fin, which leads to the wing. And we'll get into more details about the wing in a little bit when we look at the rear of the car. All right, taking a side view of this car, this thing looks so insane. We have the Nikki Lada logo right here on the fin of the car. The shark fin literally goes from the top of the roof all the way down to the entire rear decklet of the car and it leads to the wing. The shark fin makes it a little bit more aerodynamic and it directs air the correct way and it provides for better high speed stability. You do have a pretty big intake right near the bottom of the rear fenders and you also have a giant outtake near the front wheels. It releases any turbulence and pressure coming from the front wheels. You definitely need that especially since this is a track car. And then you can see these giant louvers on the front fenders and you can see those side canards that I was talking about and that ginormous front splitter. And now we're taking a look at the rear of this thing. It looks so so crazy. First of all you can notice on the top that rear roof scoop. Second of all you can notice that giant rear shark fin that I was just talking about and third you have that giant rear wing in the back. It kind of reminds me of a Huracan STO rear wing but this just looks so so insane. The tabletop of the rear wing kind of reminds me of an airplane wings. That's just coming from me, but it just looks so, so crazy. You have two giant exhaust pipes on the bottom. And as I said in this video that I made, it does not have any sound insulation at all. So this thing will be screaming with its 12,100 RPM redline revving engine. You have one tail light on each side of the car. So you have two tail lights in total. And then if you come to the middle of the car, you can see that giant, giant fan. And this car does also have a giant, giant diffuser. And what does all of that produce? An insane amount of downforce. This thing will produce 3,300 pounds of downforce, which is more than what the entire car weighs. That is insane. And you know what else is insane? The looks. So out of a rating from 1 to 10, 
I would say a 9.5 out of 10 just because it's not elegant, but I gave it a 9.5 out of 10 because it is insane looking. It is crazy looking. It looks so, so aerodynamic and all of those things serve a function and that is to produce as much downforce as possible and it did the job right. All right, but that is basically going to wrap up today's video and tell me y'all's thoughts on the new Gordon Murray T50S Nikki Lauda. That is a very long name. But if you haven't already, please subscribe down below to help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers in 2021. It would really help my channel out a lot and we do have a ton of car content that is coming up including exciting supercar vlogs so if you're a car fan like me you're gonna like this channel and again i recommend checking out my video that i made of everything that we knew so far for the gordon murray t50s before it released but anyway guys i hope to see you in a future video bye for now Nineteen hundred horsepower. I like this Easter. Three SVJs. It's cinema.